you guys are event hunters. All of you guys, that's great. I, I encourage you guys to get out there and keep enjoying outdoors. Keep enjoying this. It'll be, uh, hopefully, we'll have enough wildlife to be around for a long time. But I'm going to try to explain to you guys real quick with this little project of why we hunt. I'm going to get this figured out here. So I got a circle. A big circle with this. And we're going to call this your home. This, is, this goes for the same as you as it goes for wildlife. It'll kind of help you guys understand this. So do you guys know, what are the, besides your house, your shelter, what are two other things that you need to survive? What's one? Food. Food. What's one more? Water. So we got our food, water, and our home right here, right? Wildlife needs the same thing. Animals, fish need the same thing, right? Food, habitat, water. So I need one volunteer. She raised her hand first. You're up. She's got food, right? We all need food to survive. So you get this. So you hop in your house here. This will be your home. So if you just want to step in here. And I need another volunteer real quick. This is too hard, you guys. Breeze to me. Let's see. Let's see. Have you done anything yet? You get up here. So you guys need food and water in your home to survive. So you think these two could survive off of that water and food and they got enough, they kind of got some enough space here, they're not too crowded, right? So what happens if we don't hunt? If we didn't hunt or fish, what would happen? We would Well, not necessarily. What would happen to, if we didn't hunt or fish, what would happen to our population? What would you do if we didn't, were able to hunt something? What would happen to the number of animals we had? Yep, they could. So basically, we don't hunt, so we have an overabundance of deer. We have too many deer, too many animals that we can't control if we don't hunt. So I need, let's say, four people. One, two, three, and four. Both ants. So if you four want to come up here real quick, I'm going to show you. Yep, that's way clear. All right, so I want the four of you to try to squeeze in with your other two classmates here. Can you guys, can you guys fit in there? Okay, okay, somebody get right. over here. All right, you guys good? You guys are probably pretty crowded, huh? Yeah, we're okay though. You're okay though? So are you guys gonna, are they all gonna be able to eat all this food no. and what happens? I mean, they're gonna have one fruit roll up and one bottle of water, so what happens if they all eat it? Are they all gonna starve maybe? Uh, yeah. So that's why I'm trying to help out to hunt and to let you guys fish because we hunt. So we go and you guys are going to be here and we take four of you out. So four of you walk out of the circle. Any four? All right. So, so we've hunted and we've done one hunting season and I've helped this out. Not you guys helped it out. So we're down to two again, right? So are they gonna be able to are they gonna be able to survive now? Yeah. So you guys understand what I'm trying to say here is we need to hunt, we need to fish, we need to control our populations. Too many of them will starve, they'll get sick, and we won't be able to we won't be able to, to have a good population and then we might just help disappear. So that's kind of the short explanation of why I help you guys out. Um, why we hunt, why we fish, why we trap is because you guys are helping me out and helping our environment out and being able to survive and having all this wildlife for us to enjoy. So that's kind of the main thing. Um, that's a little project here I wanted to do for you guys. I think we only got, what, 